Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. I'm Brenda, and I'm here to tell you a little story about a fun uh, quilt store that I've gone, gotten into. We're filming this on December 6th, so what happened is a couple of weeks ago we left uh, Alberta, Canada to come to our small little winter home here in Arizona, in Tucson, Arizona. So we drove through Montana and Idaho because we were kind of uncertain with the weather and whether or not we would, could get caught in something silly or whatever. So we just drove through and then we hit the bottom of Utah and we started shopping. So this, uh, what we're showing you here today is from another quilt store here in Tucson that I just love. So, but first, but first, let's do a shout out. Shalina from Quilt and Color is not expecting this shout out. So it's going to be kind of a surprise for her. So you guys go check her out. Like her YouTube link is going to be in the show notes below. Go check her out. If you like what you see, subscribe to her and tell her that Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapmore sent you. Right? We're, we're just, she is not expecting this at all. So this should be fun. But for, okay, now let's get into what I bought. And this, these bags make so much noise on camera. I am so sorry. Um, the first thing we found when we got there was Jan Kingwell's. Jan Kingwell's bundle. They put all of her fabric line, including her lollies, the lollies. Like the lollies are a strip. Here, let me just pull, pull this out. What this is is a strip of fabric with different fab fabrics printed on them. And it is just gorgeous. I love these so much. And they're so much fun to work with, right? You get a lot of really fun things to look at in her lolly, lolly packages. But the rest of this is her her like uh, quilting line, her, her fabric line. And I just like, oh yes, we have to have that. So no surprise that I bought that. And while I was there, I found some fun fabric for a child's quilt that you can put into a child. It's got little rocket space, you know, space things going on, a moon and a, you know, a swirling black hole and all this other stuff. It's kind of a cute little, you know, tribute to space travel. And I also picked up this, and this was in their, I believe in their bargain bin. And it's got all the astrological signs and there's space rockets in there and stars and all sorts of fun other little things in there as well. So I figured now that would be a cool little pattern to throw into a child's quilt. But the one thing this store has that the other stores did not have was scrap bags. Oh my God. I saw these and I just, for $5, you get a little bit more than a yard of beautiful quilting cotton and they come in every color under the sun. Like they're just so, so amazing. We have, you know, all the purples and the blues, the red, black, greens, whites. I mean, I haven't opened any of these because I wanted to film them for you. And you get some really lovely, lovely light colored prints. And you get a lot of fun prints as well, right? Like this one's got the trucks and cars and the ambulance and police and all this stuff. And you get like, you know, a red, really nice red, a beautiful orange, a little bit of lime green, a really love, kind of a celery color that I just love. And I picked up lots of it. And it's, you know, fabric that's all over the place that normally I wouldn't buy. But I mean, when I get them like this, it's like, Oh, they're so much fun. They're so much more fun. So, you know, like, and you kind of color, you see they, they try to coordinate them, give them some like lights and some darks and some mediums. So I'm just itching to get into this. Look at this. You got a beautiful little posy. You got a tulip pink. I believe this is a tulip pink owl. And then you've got some black, right? You know, basic black. And, you know, you've got other, you know, like a purple and an orange and a couple of neutrals and a gray, you know, to kind of even things out. You've got stuff like this where you've got like a gold, like a blue and a gold and a beige and then kind of a ochre color that is just like, oh, just lovely. And I, <laughs> yes, like I went crazy. I bought them all. They don't have any left unless they're in the background. So here's some grays and some other you know, oranges and yellows and, and all this stuff. And of course, you, you know, occasionally you get up stuff with, 
like a winter theme. This is not a Christmas theme. This is winter theme. And it's a larger scale print, which I mean, you can play with and put into, you know, like quilts like this potato chip block behind me. Now, this is another one where it's got some, some very interesting fabrics in it. And it's got two, uh, three neutral or three solids. Like there's a navy, a purple and a white. But then you get a print like this in there. And that little, you know, woman walking her dog is just like, wow, it's just so cute. I couldn't leave it in the store. And they got very few repeats, which I thought was kind of interesting because these two are pretty much the same, but they're not because one has a real dark black on black or black on black with a little tiny little white polka dot thing. And the other one's got a gray in there. So I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> we have more. There's so much more. I have some gingham, red gingham with black plaid and white and the solid blacks. And, and this one looks like a tulip pink package, which I thought was kind of, it was, that was fun. And of course you have to have your black and white fabrics, you know, which is cool. And then I've got some, you know, red polka dots, lime green, orange again, great. I do have the same orange and same purple, but that's fine. I'll use it up. So I've got some black, red, and whites, red, white, and blacks. That's, those are cool. And a really soft pink, a purple, a navy, a, a black and white print, and then black and white fabric. So I thought that was, those are really interesting because I'm getting lots of colors. I got some gray and purples, you know, like a red, violet as well. Of course, then we go in and get some greens in here and some greens and yellows and whites and a, a really black, like a black, it looks like a black on black. So I can use that on my, on my quilt. And of course you got the you know, large scale blue and green and then a green and a, a kind of a printed green. I don't know if you can see much of that. Won't be able to see much of that until I take it out. So, and I did end up with one bag of octopus fabric. Well, octopus half square triangles. So I'll have some fun with that too. And then there's raccoon print on the back. So I thought, of course they go together. So this is what I got. This is at the quilt basket and the sewing room. Now my, my dear friend works in the sewing room and she tells me that this is the best quilt store in Tucson. And I always have to believe her when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to this kind of thing because she knows lots about quilting and Bernina sewing machine. So, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. I'm going to have so much fun today sorting through this stuff and pulling out and sorting by color and just having a ball. So until we meet each other again, I hope you have an absolutely amazing week ahead and you guys take care and have a wonderful season holiday. Okay. All right. Bye. My husband and I would love to thank you for watching our videos and being part of our Facebook group and coming to our Zoom meetings. It's been so much fun on this little adventure that we've been on on YouTube. Um, I just want to quick, we are doing Zoom uh, so dates still coming up on the, and those dates are going to be listed in the show notes of this video for the next year we're making that commitment to you and we're having a lot of fun with those zoom so dates so please you know feel free to come in even if you're not a quilter and you just want to come and do some crocheting or or knitting or whatever yeah come on down we're good um the other thing is i still am doing uh speaking engagements for the quilt gills just to help them out to get back on their feet i am doing only um zoom uh meetings and I have a PowerPoint presentation that talks about all the free patterns that we have put out and will be putting out to the world. So they're more than welcome to take any of my patterns and use them for their charity quilts, right? So that's kind of important that they, they know that we're there. So if you are part of a guild, let your, uh, your programs person know that we're speaking for free over Zoom only. We're not doing any traveling or anything like that. Um, the other thing that I want to let you know is that we do in our Facebook group, everybody's sharing pictures and having fun and asking questions and it's, it's a, a hoot. And we do still have the room feature in Facebook that we can go sew within. I, my admin person, Kathy, was able to set that up. It's no longer called Brenda's room, it's called Kathy's room. 
but we got a room. We do have a room working, so we're all happy with that. So if you get the opportunity to come join us on Facebook, that's great. We, we'd love to have you. So until we meet again, I hope you have an absolute, you and your family have an absolutely amazing weeks ahead. Okay, you take care. All right, bye.